Hi guys, it's Richard Butler, Video Community Manager here at PitchGround. In this tutorial lesson, we're going to look at segmentation of your leads. Now, what does that mean? That means that you're going to break up your customers into particular groups based on some attribute that all of them have in common. So I have two here. One is called Facebook, one is called Madrid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these two custom segments. It doesn't actually delete the people. And I want to show you how I create a new segment. So if I just go into all leads, I'll start there. And I'm going to click on all here on the right hand side. And I click to add a condition. So I'm going to look at the attribute here and I can select a state. So you'll see that customer lead can capture and can, can deliver a lot of information. So I can do lots of things here, but what I want to look at just for now, and you can experiment with all of these options, of course, I can't go through every single one, but I want to select referrer because I want to know people who came from Facebook. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a special automation for those people. So I go in here and I say contains Facebook. Now, should I put in .com? No, because what happens if somebody is looking at Facebook.es or Facebook.ie uh, for Ireland or whatever Facebook site it may be? If I just put in .com, I'm limiting myself just to those people who came from Facebook.com. So I just put in Facebook, I save filter, and it's automatically show me that three people have been referred from Facebook. So if I go here, I can see here that referrer is facebook.com. I again I would put the minimum of like I'm not going to put in i.facebook.com. I'm just going to put in Facebook. So I'm going to save this as Facebook leads. Now, the next one I want to do is I want to go back to all leads and I want to say that I want to set up a segment here for people who have come in from Barcelona because I want to set a special automation automation just for them. So I add a condition here, I go to all, I add a condition, I say city contains Barcelona and I save that filter. And these are all of my leads that have come in from Barcelona. So let's just check that just in case you don't believe me. <laughs> um, region Barcelona, and I can save as new. So by doing this, what I'm doing is I'm creating segments that I can then market to, or that I can say, okay, well, if they come into the chat and they're from Barcelona, do X or Y. So I'm setting myself up here to create some interesting automation later. At any time, what you can actually do is you can update your um, segments here just to see if there's any new people who fall into that category and nobody at the moment falls into that category let's just try one more here so I'm gonna go back to all leads I'm gonna say all and I'm gonna add a condition here and I'm going to say operating system our browser name actually is Safari save filter and it tells me I have six people. So I'm going to call this Safari and I save as new. Now, they're all the same leads, obviously. They're all coming out of that pool of 19 people. But what I'm doing is I'm segmenting them. So for example, I know that um, I just sent out a, a, an offer or I have an offer on a page and it doesn't work correctly in Safari. So I can actually automate it so when people come from uh, Safari, I can send an email out to them if they've engaged in the chat. So again, this is really powerful. Now, it's up to you to experiment with all of the different attributes and see which one is going to work best for you. Last activity, I can do that. ISO version, if I wanted to target people that were on a um, particular uh, iOS version. Postal code, region, time zone, uh, username, if they were logged in, Android device. There's, there's so many things here. And the thing is, experiment. Because you're not going to do any damage by experimenting. So set up your custom segments. And then we're going to start looking at campaigns and automations. I'll see you in the next tutorial video.